Hi everyone, good day. And I would like to thank you for watching today's episode. Last time, we I demonstrated to you how we can make a simple web page using HTML and CSS. And here's the product that we made. Uh, it's a profile card that shows a picture of me, my name, and other details about me. And today we're going to continue on this web page. Uh, by the way, I would like to tell you that I'm using Google Chrome right now on my laptop. And there's a feature on it that lets you view your web page on its mobile uh, view. So I wish uh, I will demonstrate it to you for you to understand. When you right click and you click inspect, you will see what you, your web page will look like depending on the screen. For example, um, let's type YouTube. Let's type YouTube. Let's click inspect. Okay, so this is what uh, YouTube will normally look like. This is what YouTube will look like on a phone, on a mobile phone. Now, as you notice, our design suddenly got all messed up. And today, I'm going to teach you how we can fix our design that so that it will adapt or change itself depending on the screen size of the phone. Okay, so well, let's go to app.css. I would like to introduce to you to at media at media only screen screen and max width 400 pixels and then put curly brace inside okay okay what does at media only screen and max width 400 pixel do uh, it does is that when a screen is in a max is uh, is in a max width of 400 pixel is in a width of 400 pixel and below it will follow whatever css code is inside for example card let's copy this copy control b Okay, so what do we want to change? I only want to change the width and height of the card to adjust to the size of the screen. So let us change this to 90% and 90%. Control less. Okay, what will happen is that the card will become 90% when it is in 400 pixels uh, max width or if it's uh, width is below than 400 pixel screen. So let us view our project. Let us click here to refresh the screen and then let's try it out. Okay, as you can see before our design got all messed up but now it adjusted well into the screen. So let us check if it's adjusting well to all sizes. Mm. It seems like it did not adjust to other sizes. It did not adjust well here in pixel 2, 411 by 731. Okay, so I think we need to add one more. We can, can highlight this, control shift. And we can copy that and we will just adjust this for let's say 800 pixels okay let's go back let's click this one and let us check now uh, from moto galaxy s5 pixel 2 so it adjusts this is what we call as responsive design so it responds depending on the screen size 
And by the way, um, it's also important that when you're making a design for a website, you always need to imagine first what it will look like through someone's phones. Because a majority of internet users right now are using cell phones. So I hope you learned a lot today and see you again next time. Thank you.